lots of guitar. Throwing stuff out in the audience. I mean, it's just like, yeah, obviously you don't want nobody to get hurt, man. So, I mean, but it's, uh, it's like spur of the moment thing. And everybody else is just like, Jesus Christ, you can't be throwing crap out in the audience. But uh, the crowd's always cool. I mean, you always need to get the stuff back or whatever. You know, it's just like Black Label ain't no fans. It's all one big family. So it's like, all right, here you go. Get the, here's the guitar back. She made it back up. Here's yours. It's either just because we're pissed off or it's all, you know, I mean, because it's a live show, man. I mean, it's a live band. We're not playing the backing tracks. One thing you got to say, you got to love about Black Label. You can go see a Britney Spears show and all this other bullshit, but you never know what the fuck you're going to get with us. You know, between us throwing guitars, throwing, uh, I mean, the monitor's going out. The monitor's were throwing out. We're throwing out the goddamn fucking PA. That's because... Just as long as like, nobody gets hurt, because that will definitely put a damper on a good night of drinking. You know what I mean? No, I actually got into an argument with the monitors. This monitor is like an ice pick in my ear. <laughs> what they were blowing my head off. All I'm trying to do is just get the thing off the stage. I start kicking the monitor off. I'm like, thank God. Now, now I'm not getting like decapitated by this fucking monitor <laughs> but the guys just figured fuck maybe it just fell down maybe he wants it back and the guys kept putting the goddamn monitor back on stage because they think they're doing me a favor like it fell off or something you notice the thing keeps coming back up so i gotta sing so i i, I can't sing and tell the guys dude guys dude just leave it on the fucking ground i don't need it it's just pure black label comedy you know what i mean it's just like yeah but i don't want it <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get it, so it doesn't matter. They try to do something right, and it just goes terribly wrong. It's pretty goddamn hysterical. I'm actually fighting with an inanimate object. It's like, dude, the monitor didn't do anything to you, and I'm just like completely pissed off like somebody just kicked me in the balls or something like that, and I just got up. I'm like punching the thing and like ripping the cables out, throwing them in the ground. Just like, dude, what are you doing? Just stop. But pure black label fashion, we can't. Oh, what a bunch of pathetic individuals. Pathetic. At least we got booze. And that's why this is Zach Wilde. When you're having a troubled day, just toss back a couple cold beverages. The reason why we have the three-piece batch set, throw about brotherhood. You know, the original Hells Angels were a batch of World War II vets. On the planes, they'd write Hells Angels. When they were bombing the shit out of the fucking Nazis and everything like that. So the whole thing is, when they got home, the only thing that gave them an adrenaline rush was riding a motorcycle. Yeah. So they, they were the Hell's Angels. And then it, it started from there. And, then, you know, they, they made a motorcycle club. So it's, it's no fucking big deal. They know it's a fucking rock band. Well, what do I got to do to get it in the black label? It's just like, if you dig the band, you wear the colors, you're in. I live in Birmingham, and you live up in London. And I'm just like, oh, boss, what the hell are you doing? What black label? What are they playing at? You know, let's just do a road trip. It's like the Grateful Dead. It just goes to show you how big the black label family's getting. Because that's what black label is. It's a gigantic family. There are no fans. It's just family. Oh, it's awesome, man. You know, so whether I'm out in, you know, I'm in the States, when I'm, whatever we call it, you know, England or the rest of Europe, Germany, I'm just basically seeing family. No, I got a really fucking violent temper, and I fucking, I like boozing, so, you know, shit's gonna fucking happen. No, I, don't, I don't get fucking yeah. pissed at anybody for a reason. If somebody's fucking kicking me in the fucking nuts, and then I'm gonna bash your fucking head in. I would never hurt anybody or go out of my way to bully anybody. I never bully anybody. I hate bullies. Bullies are fucking pussies. I'm a bully crusher. You fuck with me, you know, you, I'll be the first one to go in the schoolyard and go, why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Well, who the fuck are you? What are you gonna do about it? Well, you're about to find out. Leave the little guy alone. You know, I mean, I, I never, I'm always about helping people. Uh, you know, not, I would never pick on anybody or do anything like that. Yet. Ever. That's, a, that, that, that's an asshole fucking move, man. You know, I mean, I, you know, like oh, with Black Label, if a man doesn't fucking bleed and he doesn't cry, he's, you don't trust him. He ain't a fucking man. You know what I mean? Yeah. They got fucking balls, so fuck that. You know what I mean? You don't, you ever, you don't haze people, you don't beat, pick on people, beat them up. You, you don't do that shit. You know, somebody tries to haze me, I go, hey, motherfucker, come on, you know, I go, I go, you know what, you motherfuckers better kill me now, because I tell you right now, after your fucking five years get done kicking my ass, I'm going to kill every one of you motherfuckers. I'll, I'll just w make sure when you're walking home to your house, I'll just jump out of the bushes with a baseball bat and break every fucking goddamn bone in your fucking body. And then I'll bite your dick and balls off and French kiss them in your mouth. 
just like you're hanging out on the road. It's like, eh, let's start breaking some shit. You know what I mean? It's just like, well, I, I got, but I, but the funny thing is with us though, that time we we don't even try breaking anything. It just breaks. <laughs> it just breaks, man. I mean, where you go? That sucks. We know we're gonna have to pay for it. You know what I mean? I mean, we always pay for it anyway. You know. And then I I get that. 12, 13 fists shoved up my ass <laughs> from the warden. You know what I mean? So it's just like, that's great. You know, we could have put another down payment on a house with the amount of damages you guys just did. I go, uh, what do you say to that? <laughs> no, go, you we, that? We go make another record. I mean, yeah. that's about it. Mm -hmm. But all we can do. Uh, well, like I always say, you want a rock and roll band? You're going to get a rock and roll band. I mean, this isn't an act. I'm that's not an actor. Cool. I'm not playing the part of Zach Wilde. How was that poop? And who said? That's Sandy Van Halen. Alan was on the thumb over there. That right That's Randy Rose. Right. He's got a nice hiney. Mm -hmm. Are you doing your exercises? You can do it and go back. Here you go. And keep it like that. All right? One, two, three, go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 